Do you know that compressing your files is a good way of freeing up disk space on your storage device or is easy to share? Hi, welcome again to the channel where a lot of tech problems have been solved at. If you are a viewer gently hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to become part of the family. So feather I do let's dive into the tutorial. What does compressing a file do? Storing large files on your storage device can be frustrating when you're on low disk space. Here's compressing files comes in. Compressing large files can free up your disk space, and technically it's tricky to share or send large files to others through a platform because of file size limitations. It is easy to compress large files to become small enough to store and share. The other person can decompress the file to open it. So in this tutorial, we will learn how to compress large files. There are so many applications that can be used to compress files, but I recommend you to use WinRAR. So to download this software, visit their website. Check the link in the video description. In this section, you can select your language, software version, platform, is the operating system you are using, and your system architecture. After you choose from the options click on the search button. You can see 64-bit and 32-bit architecture. Click on the architecture that support your computer system to download. So after the download, open the winware.exe file and install. Now let's proceed. To select more that one file or folder at a time, press and hold the control key as you click each file or folder. Right click, move down, and click add to archive. Select RAR from the archive format options. I choose RAR instead of zip because RAR or RAR4 is better at compressing files than zip. Select best from the compression method because the method provides the highest compression ratio. Select a dictionary size. The larger the dictionary file, the more compressed the file can be. So choose an average size that is 10 times lower than your PC memory or leave it as it is. On the neath, you can split your file into smaller files. For example, if you have 4 pen drives with the capacity of 4 GB each, you can split a 16 GB file into smaller files that could each fit onto a pen drive. Note, you must extract all the split files and do not delete or lose any of the split files. But is optional, so I will leave it empty. Now click on OK to compress your file. Remember compressing audio or video can affect their qualities. Primarily, videos and audio are compressed during production. Now that we've finished compressing, let's compare the size of the uncompressed folder and it's compressed. Here you can see the size difference. So that's all I have for the day and I hope you start compressing large files you do not use frequently. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe and turn on the notification bell until I see you on another video. Stay tuned. Bye!